A man full of ideas, inventions and determination. Sim Wong Hu showed me his latest obsession. He believes he has creative's next big shot in the palm of his hands. This is a quite expensive sound system. <laughs> You know, to cost about thirty thousand dollars, you set the whole thing maybe fifty thousand dollars. Okay, so you're telling everybody that you can actually recreate this whole experience just by using the headset that you create. And this is the toggle you've invented that changes yeah, the sound. Yeah, this toggle turns on the Super X5. You got it? Yep. Yeah. This one where? All over. No. No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people do that because they don't believe. Ah. You see? This normal headphone. The difference. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah. There's no difference at all. That's, That's the idea. <laughs> so the whole idea is actually to bring the cinema to your home. You don't have to go to the cinema anymore, especially in today's environment. You don't want to go there. Said to be a game changer, Super X5 creates holographic audio through headphones or an amplifier. The app scans the face and ears to map out a tailored listening experience. I think Super X5 is actually far more exciting than the Sound Blaster. Sound Blaster was very successful, we got a good run and uh, actually it lasted more than what I expected, you know, about 20 years out there. So, uh, and it's still selling. Creative Technology started out as a small computer repair shop in 1981. Later, it built PC add-on boards and sound cards, even the world's first multimedia multilingual computer. In 1989, Sound Blaster was launched, shooting Creative to the global stage, selling more than 400 million units around the world. Creative became the first Singapore company to list on the Nasdaq in 1992 with revenues peaking at $1.6 billion in 1996. By 2000, Sim became Singapore's youngest billionaire and the poster boy for entrepreneurship. Creative is a dream. I want to be able to dream the boldest dream in creative. And if you take away all this, I will quit. So now you're going to tackle the next big game. But his MP3 players took him straight to a head-on legal battle with Apple, eventually walking away with $100 million in settlement from the US tech giant. But soon after, Creative faded into the background. So can the Super X5 be Sim's big comeback? Ever since I've been pumping money until the past few years, and finally it has reached what I wanted and then we went out to the market and test about three years ago with a prototype and then people were just blown away and we went out there last year, uh, CES 2019 and we won 15 best of CES award and this year we go again with more products and a new generation of Super Spy. we won another eight so total we got 23 so from the momentum I'm seeing this would be something far more exciting far more bigger than the Sound Blaster So you think you can make a comeback? Mm, I think we should make a comeback given the effort that we put in I'm Christine Tan and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.